Jobani no nok jin and jenny nala kara jenny nunga mort bridia kay and karak nijabuja. On your behalf, I am paying respects to elders past and present. From a personal perspective, I also pay respects to all of you on this great occasion.
Attention! Regiment, stand yes! Hey! Stand easy! The re-raising of the 10th Light Horse Regiment is not only auspicious for the Australian Army, but for this station and for our country more broadly. This occasion is tied to the heart of both our history and our future defence. Historically, the 10th Light Horse Regiment traces its lineage back before the Great War. For those of you who have publicly toured Government House, you might have seen a photo dated 2nd of November 1899, showing a farewell reception for the West Australian Mounted Infantry 1st Boer War contingent. Those brave and bold soldiers assembled at Government House a few hundred metres from where we are today. Although the 10th Light Horse was not formally raised until 1914, the faces of these troops personify some of the regiment's earliest lineage. Today we see no horses in the regiment, though plenty of other horses around, and nor do we see a sea of moustaches, but I see a strong step towards a well-drilled, future-ready force, a shift towards a force ready to defend our state and nation within an increasingly volatile region. A force empowered by the acquisition of the new Hawkeye Protected Mobility Vehicle, light, and its increased intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capability. On behalf of all West Australians, I want to take a quick moment to acknowledge the dedication of those people in uniform here today, as well as those attending to support our military. Some of you have already risked or sacrificed your well-being, both physical and mental, in support of our way of life and national interests. To you, I say thank you. I also thank the next generation who will serve in today's 10th Light Horse. The regiment will significantly increase in size to form a well-trained, disciplined and capable new cavalry squadron in Western Australia and you carry a rich history forward. It is a great honour to be here today at this historic event on the occasion of the re-raising of the 10th Light Horse as a regiment in Western Australia today. It is fitting that a storied unit initially raised through large num numbers of West Australian volunteers over a century ago is also at the forefront of Army's growth and modernisation in the West. The regiment's proud legacy of service at Gallipoli, Egypt and in Palestine in the key battles including the Nek, Romani and at Beersheba a testament to its importance to Western Australia and Australia as a whole. This history serves to provide a strong foundation as the 13th Brigade and the 10th Light Horse grows in strength and capability. In achieving this important milestone, Army, and in particular the 13th Brigade and the 10th Light Horse, have navigated the planning and execution of this significant parade in the midst of a pandemic. Congratulations to all on an outstanding parade. It is wonderful to see the 10th Light Horse re-raised and equipped with the latest protected mobility vehicles entering service in the Army. The motto of the 10th Light Horse Regiment is strike and strike swiftly. This epitomises the second division's focus on its foundation war fighting skills to meet its obligations for ready now forces for army and the joint force. I look forward to the 10th Light Horse Regiment continuing to make a valuable contribution to the defence of Australia, Western Australia and Australia's national interests. To the soldiers, officers, of the 10th Light Horse Regiment, your families, your community, and your employers, I commend your service and thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Thank you.